but it's time uh, to get a, a perspective on what you are saying across social media this morning. Yes, it's been a long weekend, really longer than the usual, plus two days of public holiday. So let's get in your thoughts on the big stories this morning. And Jeffrey, of course, uh, joins me on this one, Jeffrey. Uh, quite brief and straight to the point, yeah. lots of stories, uh, but um, we share what the people are actually saying. And uh, sometimes what you're saying is not exactly what's on the news, mm -hmm. and sometimes what you're saying is what's on the news, but we're going to capture all of that today on the program. And the first coyote that people are talking about is the reported uh, this sale of three presidential jets uh, to court costs because the federal government appears to be looking inward to yeah. say, look, what can we do in terms of optimization? What can we do to just reduce expenditure as much as possible? Now, when I was reading the statement by Jurin Galali that the president is traveling with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and other top government officials, I said, like, can you just go with only the Minister of Foreign Affairs and a few aides and other top, let, it, let them just stay back yeah. because we're trying to save costs. We know Senegal is not that far, but anything that can help us save as much cost as possible. Uh, so let's get to the first uh, post now on X. Adi Shopee says, so after selling it, where would the money go to and what would they use the money for? That's my take on this. Just want to know how the money moves. You know, the thing is, we've actually heard this before. This has been said. I think the previous administration also made a move uh, regarding that. So take a look at what Crypto Signals you says. It is encouraging to see steps being taken to trim costs responsibly. Balancing efficiency with prudence is key and stewarding public funds wisely. This user ends by saying. So it's important to be transparent. So let's know who are the other government officials traveling with the president. Yes. Some other government officials is not clear enough. Mm -hmm. At least we know about the Minister of Foreign Affairs. So people can also know who the other people are. So that we know that they are necessary for that right, trip. Right. It's, not, it's not a business engagement. We're yeah. not trying to sign in the bilateral agreement. It's just a ceremony to usher in a new administration. So if the president can go with three people yeah. and some security officials, it's fine. That's fair enough. Uh, Sinesco says, good. They should use the money to buy drones to track the terrorists. I am talking about real drones, not <laughs> Walmart drones. I don't know what that is. Okay, he's a tech man. We will explain the difference. <laughs> Come on, of course not. Any drone used for security wouldn't be that kind of drone. I imagine you're saying a toy drone or whatever. But yeah, point taken. Uh, it's very interesting. Take a look at this one from Emi Duru saying, now, you need to get this post in its entirety. Don't run with the first line. So it starts by saying we don't need any presidential, presidential jets. jets. But if you can reduce the fleet to two, then he will be doing Nigeria a massive favor. So I guess saying we don't need a lot. That's why it's jets in the first place, because mm. we know that these things are necessary. Yeah. Let's not uh, be too extreme now yes. when we're talking about these issues. So yeah, that's the context right there. Yeah, we can't reduce our president to traveling by... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Maru or something. No, you can't get that bad. You need the jet, so <laughs> as much as possible. But we understand what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Adekunle Adiola says, buy commercial airlines, airplanes, rather, and start more international flights to various destinations. It will strengthen the economy, more jobs, and more opportunities. All right, so, yeah. yeah. There you go. By the way, we have a big conversation on the aviation sector this morning, so stick around. We'll be taking a look at some of these issues and some of the ones that concern you. You may not be on that presidential jet, but there are some other flights you have been in, you will be in, and you are probably in already. But let's turn our attention to another form of transportation. This is not transporting humans, but crude oil. And mm. it's concerning pipeline vandalism. And there are some sort of, uh, well, what I call it proposals in place for the federal government to maybe transport crude oil via trucks. A lot of things are coming to mind right now. But let's see what you're saying. AGO 4 Church says, using trucks cannot solve the problem. They could be diverted or blocked by armed men. No nation grows by corruption. So legend state control their resources, then there will be economic growth and prosperity. Uh, the stealing of our crude oil, let, let's not kid ourselves, is that industrial skill. Oh, yeah. If you've ever been close to a pipeline, you know it's not for petty thieves. It has to be some level of sophistication for it to happen. <laughs> when those infractions happen, about 9,000 of them, about 100 kilometers, about 300. So the NMPC has given us these figures. We have yeah. them, and it's quite sad. It is. Um, Olawale says, how hard is it to monitor pipelines with technology available in 2024? Big question. How does transporting crude via trucks make sense? It's even more expensive than what you lose to vandals. Is risk, the risks are more and the threats of theft higher. Securing pipelines can't be this hard. Oh, there you go. So that's 
particular line or proposal was contained in a presentation by the NUPRC yeah. saying that we're looking at these alternatives. So it is not a policy yet, it's not been approved yet, but these are things uh, that are put out there and it's important for you to let your thoughts be heard. Uh, we have more uh, from Sadiq Shitu uh, saying the federal government should do it <laughs> so as to reduce oil thieves in the Niger Delta region. But you know, this is a big debate really. Will this now basically be putting it uh, closer to those who want to maybe uh, mm -hmm. steal it by you know, taking it via road. Don't forget yeah. what happens on the road sometimes. But those are some of the angles there. And uh, Yemi Olajide says, Yemi Olajide 8 says, um, let me find out, yeah. What about billions paid to Antita Security? Actually, they are paid four billion a month. Uh, thinking outside the box is a problem, except thinking of corruption just to provide chop for the trucks. Others, cabals, despite destruction of roads due to pressure by heavy duty trucks. Um, what's the current? Katerians operate pipelines, yet we refuse to learn. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of lashing this morning. Uh, but let's switch gears now. Let's show you a video. Now, this video is from Kebby. And I don't want you to link this to the proposal about transporting crude via road, but this video uh, showing some residents looting a truck, uh, a broken down truck uh, loaded with assorted grains meant for distribution and burning Kebby. So those are the images you're seeing. You can see that truck uh, just about 100 meters away from uh, the person shooting that video. And you see a crowd of people approaching. This is, this is this is really sad. This is this is this is, this is unacceptable. That exactly. We understand there's hunger in the land and all of that. We don't know whether these trucks are for the government or for the private uh, individual who owns this business. But if it's for, an, it's for if it's for the private person or an investor, um, just seeing your investment just being carted away like this is really really sad. And this is the response uh, we're getting on X. Fizi says. This is really absurd and wickedness. Hunger is not an excuse. Full stuff, uh, cheaper in Kebi. Okay, maybe that person lives in Kebi state. Well, um, and I know we've heard some of those uh, narratives. Another person uh, saying that um, that's I'm Supremo saying this is sad news and this might not be due to hunger. Some people just see opportunities in bad things. And it's been said that that uh, particular truck or the grains on it were actually meant for distribution. Okay. But should have waited for it to get to its destination before uh, forceful distribution. This is... Right. All right. Uh, so, let's see. Avocado says, the level at which people are going to satisfy their needs is just unbelievable. Mm. Uh, this will not happen in the Western world. If the change we want will come, it will start with us. Those involved should be brought to book. Another angle from Nelson claim some other figures saying that this palliative or palliatives, in this case, are meant for distribution to citizens, but it wasn't distributed before now. Well, again, who knows what the scheduling is? We need more information on that. But exactly, if of course it wasn't distributed at the right time, then that's another, uh, or another set of questions to be answered by those in charge. There's another interesting one you're talking about, which is of interest to everyone, because when we had the director of works here, we did make a proposal that if these installations and national assets are being stolen, let's begin with the basics. True. Uh, CCTV, uh, FG installing CCTV solar light on third mainland oh, bridge. Yeah, that's got a lot that of proposal, people. it got everybody, literally. A lot of people talking. This is, um, this is from um, Narroscope, says, the device is long overdue on the third mainland bridge. We call it 3MB. Uh, now that it is finally here, we need to devise a method to protect and put it on operation at all times. Very important. At all times, so that yeah. there's lights. I noticed on the Long Bridge, mm -hmm. uh, inward Lagos as mm -hmm. well, on outward, you might notice some street lights mm -hmm. as well. And it was cherry to see, yes, your headlamps do a lot, but it's always good to see some of those blind spots, see there's someone lurking in the corner. This next one is from Crypto Signals. You say balancing safety with sustainability is key in our infrastructure project. And I think that's talking about uh, the solar essentially. So that's another angle uh, that we picked to this one. Yeah, so that it doesn't, doesn't go off at any time. We watch videos online when we see incidents and the government goes to every CCTV yeah. around the area to be able to find out and investigate. And um, this is coming from Polozma. Uh, Polisma says it should be installed all over the country, and not just the third mainland bridge alone. We really need that 
in this country as part of security measures. I agree totally. I agree. You know what's quite interesting as well, Jeffrey? Uh, the conversation around who approved it, who should take the glory for this? Is it the previous administration? Is it the current administration? So one moment we say government is a continuum. The next, people are saying, well, no, you need to separate these administrations. <laughs> While that debate is ongoing, what is important, we, we need to ensure that we have one of the very best infrastructure because that's what we deserve Absolutely. as a people. There is more on that uh, saying that um, they should stick to the electric powered lights because they are brighter. That's from Raf underscore Ike. So Raf's grouse is about the fact that it's solar. He says that electric might be better. Imagine driving when you can't see two poles ahead of you. Well, I haven't driven since <clears throat> this installation at night, so I'll, I won't be able to speak to it. I won't be able to speak to it. But the most important thing is illumination. Let there be light. Mm. That's what we want. So I guess the person understands what he or she is saying. And I think electricity, solar is also electricity. So it's yeah. just the, the source. So uh, maybe you're saying is a diesel powered, is it uh, petrol, or should just come from the power grid? I mean, I'm even thinking whether the person is complaining about the distance between a pole and the other. That. I That's wouldn't know thing. what you're saying, but uh, Suleiman Uma says this is a waste of money because it will not work and will not last. Criminals will vandalize them. It happened in Abuja. <laughs> Come on, be a bit optimistic for a moment. Yeah, but you know, be truth. optimistic for a moment. You can't blame some Nigerians. They have I seen things. I the Abuja totally. CCTV project is still out there in the air somewhere. But these are the big stories you are talking about were big uh, on your comments as well we'll take a moment now and when we return we'll start with the starter for the day it's a big conversation it concerns money money for you money for the economy money for states that's a big one you don't want to miss so in about five ten seconds we're back so stay with us it's the morning brief